Hi everyone, I'm Daniel from the Poor Fly Guys, and this Ash. Ash. <laughs> I don't know Ash. what to say. Ash. <laughs> this is Ash. <laughs> um, we have collaborated with Limon? Limon? Limon. Limon Crochet. Jill from Fiber Fruzy Craft. And we have created the Cake Train series. So basically what we will be doing is reviewing different yarns and giving you our honest opinions. We will be working with the yarns and making our own projects. Making our own projects. Um, we will all be making different things, um, which we will talk about more as we go through the video. Um, Ash was a last minute addition. addition. I'm always um, a last minute addition. Well, yeah. No, no <laughs> you're not always a last minute addition. But, um, he makes me out to be so horrible. You are. Uh, um, so I thought I asked Dan, Jill, and Lamone if well Dan asked if I could join in because I've started a project using the yarn that we're the yarn reviewing. that we're reviewing first. Mm -hmm. And as someone that doesn't crochet Often. regularly at all, like, I'm quite new to it, aren't I? I yeah. thought it might be good to have someone that's sort of new, a bit unsure of how to crochet stuff, might find things a bit more difficult mm -hmm. to give a bit of perspective to people that may be newer to crochet or struggling with things, um, to get an idea of yarns that might be suitable for them, might be difficult to use, that sort of thing. So I thought it might be good to have my eyes on it. That was such an eye roll. <sighs> And the sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but anyway, we might as well get on with the cake train. The cake thing is the cake train, mm. yeah. Um, so, the yarn that we are reviewing this month, because I believe we're going to be releasing sorry. videos every two weeks. Should I grab it? Oh, I want to grab Go grab it then. The yarn we are reviewing this month is. It's it's a very chunky boy. Chunky, chunky, chunky. The Karen anniversary cake. Everyone knows what a Karen anniversary cake is. Well, well I hope everyone knows what a Karen anniversary cake is. Some people in the States might, but in the UK or elsewhere might not know. No, because we, we cannot, in, in, we're based in the UK and we cannot get these over here. Yeah. Um, I had all. these sent to me by a friend. Um, very gratefully. Very gratefully. We absolutely love them. Um, and yeah. Mm. So, are you going to read out the details of yeah. the yarn? So, um, this is a Karen anniversary cake. It's uh, very big. I'll use um, Dan's even bigger head for a scale. Mm -hmm. So it is, well, I think even your head's a bit bigger. God. Yeah, it's big. Um, mm -hmm. It is, in American, 35.3 ounces, or in metric, 1,000 grams. So it's a whole kilo. A whole kilo of yarn. That's yarn. a lot of yarn. It's a lot of yarn. Mm -hmm. So it's a number six super bulky, which would be, would that be super chunky in the UK? That probably be or... a super chunky over here. Yeah. Mm. Um, it's 100% acrylic, so it's got no wool in it at all. It says so it's good for you people that are allergic to wool. Yes, yeah, so people that can't use wool or don't like the feel of wool will absolutely love using something that's not got wool in it. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so it looks like that. There's how many colours? There's about 16? Hang on, I can have a look. 14, 16? On the Michaels oh, website, on the Michaels website there is 11 colours. I have no idea if there's any more. I believe they have come out with new colours. I don't know mm. if these are the ones on the Michaels website, but I believe they have come out with new ones. Mm. So, it's, as he said, it's a super bulky, so number six. It's a 11 stitches, 14 rows, if knitting it, on 8 millimeter needles, which is a US size 11. And crochet-wise, which is what we're going to be focusing on, is eight, is that single crochets? 
I have no idea. About eight SC. Oh yeah, single crochet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is a double to us. Yeah. So eight mm. single crochets to nine rows on an eight millimeter hook. Um, and that's over your sort of average four by four inch tension square or gauge square. Um, again, as mentioned, it's 100% acrylic, acrylic, so machine washable. I was trying to say machine washable at the same time. 100% acrylic, machine washable and dryable. Um, it's 1,061 yards. It's a lot of yardage. Yeah. Um, What's that in metres? 970. Yeah. So you could probably get you get most, you you could get get most projects out of this, if not two. You could get a decent sized blanket mm. um, out of two balls of this. And there is, like most Karen yarns, there's a included pattern that comes how, on the how many, ball bag. How many balls? Two. Yeah, that uses two. Yeah, so um, they are limited time only, but honestly, I I don't know how limited are they, like yearly? Well, I, I believe Karen didn't intend on bringing them back. But they have, so... They, they must be back through popular demand, because yeah. everyone thought they were just going to be a one-time only thing. Mm. But, but they bought them back, um, and new colours as well. Yeah. So it retails um, on the ball band for thirty five dollars or thirty four ninety nine. They were recently on sale. They're not anymore, but they were on sale for nineteen ninety nine on the Michaels website. Mm. But we're obviously not the best people for up to date pricing. Never ask me up to date information. Particularly the stuff know. that we can't get over here. Yeah. Um, so that's about it in terms of what's on the ball band. Um, there's not really anything else to talk about in terms of that, is there? No. It's just sort of... Should we talk about colours first? Like what we can, we we can like, talk about colours. Like? Should I start? You start, you already yeah. know what one do you like. So, um, on the Michaels website there's 11 colours. Um, my favourite is, no surprise, the one I've got here. This is Chocolate Fountain, for all of yeah. you people that don't know. So it's got this, like... What do you call that? Like a very it's like a beigey brown. It's like a beigey brown, like a very light cream yeah. toffee like colour. There's like a nice kind of burnt orange. Sort of like a it's like, it's like a, a purple. A, yeah, it's like a ready purpley maroony colour. There's an even darker purple in there too. Yeah, there's an even darker purple. Is there a grey in there too? I think it's that is grey. Yeah. And there's a dark grey. It looks in there. so like different under this light, yeah. But, a, um, yeah, we'll show them what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. Just obviously the colour might be there. But it's a very beautiful colour. I love it. I love my oranges, love my browns. Absolutely love autumnal colours. So this is sort of really up my street compared to everything else that's um, on oh, offer. And I better mention for anyone that doesn't know, this is, I believe this is the colour that Crystal Bagaday used in oh, her... Yes tutorial in her chocolate the, fountain in chevron her chocolate fountain chevron blanket blanket yeah mm -hmm. it is because i was watching the tutorial and i was like that yarn looks familiar and um that's why it was called the chocolate fountain well chevron. yeah it took me um, <laughs> it took me a while to figure <laughs> that out um one thing i did want to mention that i've only just remembered that i really liked is on the top of the ball it marks where the center pull is which um, I know some have like tags or stickers, but some some don't, don't they? You've got to try and just over find here. The end. Over here, we don't get sent for yeah. very much. So I really liked that. That was a really nice, and it's a, it's actually attached to the to the yarn. No, to the inside of yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's attached sort of here, so you can't lose, lose the center of the ball. So you're going to know where the center starts. Um, because that is where I would probably suggest to start with one of these. Because it's very big. Yes. Do you want to talk about your colour? My favourite colour. Yeah, your favourite colour or the colour you're using. I'll start off with the colour I'm using. I'm going to put my down. I'm using this colour. This is Blue Reef. Reef Blue. Reef Blue. Reef Blue. Reef blue. It is lovely. It is very similar to another colourway which is called scuba. Is Something that an, scuba. Is that an anniversary cake? Yeah, I've got it up there. 
Did you want me to bring it down and... I don't know if you can get past I'll try, me, I'll but try you can and bring it down. stretch my arms. We're going to get you the other one. Let's have a look. Oh, I can get it. I can reach it. All oh, the bands coming off of that. Oh, um, it doesn't matter. It's fine. It's fine. So... But this... Ash will show you. Yep. So I'm just going to try and tuck that back in so it doesn't fall this apart. This is scuba. Yeah, so this is scuba splash, which is what uh, it's a very blue sea, sea tones. Yeah, that so comes it's, back together. They look very similar. Part of this one's got grey in. Yeah, that's got grey and this is like a this tealy, is, this has got more blue in it. Mm -hmm. colour. They'd look great together. They would go really well together, mm -hmm. actually. But this isn't the one I'm using in my in my project. Move that under here. I'm using this one, and I absolutely love it. Although this isn't my favourite one of the selection. Mm -hmm. Out of all eleven colours on the Michaels website, my favourite is Monstera. Oh yes, we have to see if we. You'll can... have to put. You'll have to put the um. Do that. No, do that. Yeah. No, other way. Other way. Other You're way. not doing it. Oh. I think you mean that. And then... Oh, okay, it'll just blur out all the screen otherwise. Hmm. That's we'll a better picture. That. That's a yeah. better picture. So, that is Monstera. It's got, like, blue and green and white. It's such a beautiful oh, it is colour. gorgeous. That is it's my favourite one. It's more... Green, isn't it? These yep. are definitely heavy on the blues. Mm -hmm. That's got a, the scuba splash, got a little bit of green in it. But if you really like your greens, then Monster is probably the one for you. I think that's the only really greeny one, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's a couple of like pinkies, like is it sour cherry? Mm -hmm. Um, there's quite a lot of pink in yeah. lollipop as well, and there's some sort of reddy pinks in um, tropical butterfly, yeah. But yes, that's sort of the only one for the greens, and you've got the two blues. Like, you would think my favourite one are the two blues. If I'm honest, I thought your favourite one was going to be su su Scuba. Speak. Scuba Splash. Just because the blues, it's got every blue that you like. Yeah. It may even match your hair. Yeah. Oh, a little bit. Oh, that colour does. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, that is... Monsteria is my favourite. But it was very hard to get hold of. Mm. Everyone seemed to love the monster. Bro. Couldn't get any. No. When thingy picked no. It up. No. No. Couldn't get hold of it I at all. I can see why though. It is nice. Um, but we should talk about comparisons. Yes. Obviously, we're in the UK. So, yes, I've used a lot of American branded yarn. But we are going to do comparisons on UK branded yarn. Mm. For anyone that would like to try some UK yarn that hasn't done it yet. Yeah. It's going to be difficult, though, I think, suggesting... I can't think off the top of my head anything that you could get a very similar result in terms of weight, feel, and colour. Because, obviously, it's a self-striping cake. Mm -hmm. See, we do have... Sort of stealth striping cake yarns, don't we? There's a couple I can think like um like Sardar Pata Cake and In a way the dream catch is very self striping yeah. too. Um so we do have self striping. But not in the cakes. same I don't not that I know of in the same weight that this is. Yeah, I can't think of a I can't think of a massive chunky super bulky equivalent. UK, but I'd be happy to find out if we did have one. If anyone does know, that would be that'd be greatly appreciated because these are very hard to get hold of for us, and um, they're really fun to work with. So, you yeah, you if probably, you do know, please get in you touch. You probably say in terms of similar, you think Hayfield super chunky. Maybe not the super chunky because I this when I was using it, it feels more like a chunky. Yeah, it in does terms feel of more, the weight. So in American terms, but it feels more like a five weight than a six weight. Yes, yeah, so like is, a five weight. It is, la it is labelled as a six weight. Yes, it is labelled as a six weight, 
but it feels more like a five weight when you're working with it. Yeah, that's what I would. And the tension's very similar to some of the chunky or bulky weight yarns that we have over here. So it's what? It's about 11 to 14 stitches per four inches knitting. Mm. So, yeah. Have to. I, I would say uh, closest in terms of how it's spun, like the like the feel of the yarn and how it looks and it's like composition so the 100 percent acrylic i would say something like a hayfield chunky a hayfield ch ch bonus chunky yeah something like that that's that's the vibes i get that was the yarn i learned to crochet yeah it was that was it's a super chunky but do you remember how that felt mm -hmm. very like, it even has that sort of um, fluffy sort of fuzz to it. Mm -hmm. But obviously, that is just solids. Mm -hmm. There's no sort of self-striping cake version of that. So, yeah, that is a shame. So that I think we're sort shame. of a bit out of luck in terms of UK options. Um, Our options are very as limited, far as we know. Know. For self-striping cakes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say. When you go um, into a yarn shop, you'll find a billion balls of baby yarn. Yeah. Like do, we went into hobby craft. Like the up we went, cakes of baby yarn. We, we went into hobby craft and they had one sparkle yarn. Mm. One. Yeah. And it was on sale. Mm. But anyway, we're not talking about hobby craft. Um. So, what are we going to make? Oh. You, you, you should I, should start, I, I'll go, I'll go first things. because oh, I'm literally sacking anniversary cakes here and they are going to fall over. So I have started my project already. So Dan kind of alluded to it earlier, mentioning Crystal from Bag A Day. So I'm not a big crocheter at all. Um, I find it quite difficult and um, I'm always pestering Dan for help or um to just crochet it for me so i wanted Which something... I tell him to do it himself yeah hmm. um so i wanted something simple something quick something not something that i could just sit down relax but sort of make decent progress with um so i chose to do crystals uh, bag a day sorry um <laughs> Everyone knows. It's called the Chocolate Fountain Chevron Blanket, I believe. On It's a YouTube tutorial at the moment. I will link her tutorial in the description box yeah. below. I'm sure she'll be coming out with a written pattern for it sometime, maybe. I don't know. But um, the video is really good. It's really comprehensive. It's really clear. If you're like me and you're new to crochet or you're not sure what you're doing, watching crystal's video you can't can't, you can't really go wrong it's so clear even down to exactly where you put the hook um and she walks the whole row along and back so that you fully know the repeat sequence um which i liked because a lot of youtube tutorials they'll say this is the pattern it's a it's an eight stitch repeat for excess for example um They'll show you the eight and then they'll sort of like be like, I'll oh, catch you back later. Whereas Chris sort of goes along Tells you multiple times and it really helps drill the pattern into your head. It really helps you to sort of see exactly um, where to put the hook, what stitch to do where. You can really, you, you really do learn something um, from her tutorials. So um, if you don't know about Bag A Day, then definitely uh, check her out. But I'm sure most of you watching probably do. Um, so back to what we're making. So the chevron blanket. So I've started it here. So it's sort of like it's a really nice, simple chevron granny mm -hmm. type blanket, isn't it? So it's made up of, it's a chain going along from one end to the other, just normal chains and double crochets. Um, and there's a row of singles in there as well. And then, yeah. And then it starts your granny section, which is like a um, 
you just repeat row three multiple times. And it's made up of these um clusters. Are they double crochet or treble? Double know. doubles in American, trebles in UK. Okay. So they're made up of double crochet clusters going along, um, or treble crochet clusters in UK terminology. Okay. Treble, yeah. Yeah. Um, just to create these peaks and valleys. And you get this really nice, really geometric pointy shape. And I just love how the colour is changing from this orange to this nice tonal creamy, like sandy toffee colour, isn't mm -hmm. it? And then the darker tone. It's just, it's it's fun working on it. It's fun seeing the colours change. Um, and it's just so quick. Even me, I'm really, really slow. I crochet on it, I'm really slow. And this is just the progress from sort of one sitting. And it's a hefty, it's a hefty length as well, isn't it? It's what well, you added a I, little bit I more. I can't on. tell you. I, yeah, just one sort of twenty-two stitch block extra. But it's a good what, maybe almost two meters, if not you two. You probably will use both of your cakes. Though. Yeah. So that's the plan. I'm going to try and use both of my cakes for this and make as big of a blanket as I can. Um, I'm using a ten mil hook which is creating a really nice, it's not too thick or dense, but it's loose enough. I think, was it mentioned in the pattern to use a 10 mil? I honestly can't remember. I don't want to say yes, I don't want to say no, because I can't remember off the top of my head. Well, I'll um, link the video below for all you guys that want to watch it. But it's what I use, and I'm really happy with the gauge that I'm getting. I tend to be a little bit tight when it comes to crocheting, so... Um, it may not be the right hook for everyone, but for me, it's it's really nice. It's creating a nice, it's dense enough, but it's got enough drape into it. It's not stiff. It will drape even more when you've mm. made it bigger. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to working on this. Um, first opinions, love, it's really soft. Really soft, do you want to feel it? I felt it, it's very soft. Yeah. And it's got this nice little fuzz along it. It's just, it is, it's really lovely and soft. Um, it doesn't scratch your fingers or anything when you're working with it. It's really gentle on the hands. Um, I found anyway. My only criticism, and as someone that's new to crocheting, is I find it a bit splitty. Mm -hmm. It's where it is. I'll try and show this end without it all falling off. So it's. I think it's like. Is it two or three plies? I think it's just. So it's like three. It's like three plies of. I'm not even showing it to the camera. It's like three... That's not very good, is it? It's like three plies of yarn spun around. And um, it does catch quite a few times. So you're sort of trying to get into a rhythm and it'll snag or catch. Um, but it's not It's not the worst yarn I've worked with in terms of sort of snagging and splitting. I, I did try and work with it because we were getting... Well, Ash was getting his chain count wrong and I think I got it completely wrong Dan fixed it everything like that. so I went through and did the chain for him I did the chain in the first the first row for him um you did the you did the chain didn't you and then the first row yeah and then you and then I gave it back to you and you carried me. on yeah. um I have the same opinion I love the feel of it mm. yeah it's very soft although I my personal opinion, don't use these cheap plastic hooks with it. Well, I yeah, I, I will admit, I think hook choice does make a big difference. I've been seriously considering getting a clover. Do you not have any clover? Like not, a that size, size? not that size. Not that size. Aren't they plastic as well? They're plastic, At but they've got the, the rubber, the rubber okay. handle. Yeah. I don't like the Because this, this is just like a cheap pony, just your very basic plastic, what, £2.50 hook maybe, mm -hmm. um, which is fine. There's no problem with that. Um, it I'm does the job. But, I sp well, you especially, you're used to using other hooks, aren't you? You're used to using primarily metal hooks. No, I use plastic hooks now. Do you? My fowls are oh, plastic. Oh, yeah, your fowls. 
and you use wooden ones as well. So you've already used all the different sort of types of materials. Um, but yeah, I guess it's the old adage, you get what you pay for really. And um, I didn't pay a lot. But yeah, so I really like it. It does split a bit. Um, I do like the colour. I love the colour changes. Absolutely love the colour changes. And if you pick a colour that you really love and it's got all the tones you really love, then I don't think you can go far wrong with it, really, because every colour is just so nice to work with. Um, my only... There is one more criticism. It's not too bad in this one. And I don't know if it's intentional because I have had Karen cakes in the past that have a very similar issue where you get sort of like speckling of different colours. So like, I'm trying to see if I can see. So on, I don't, I don't want to criticise if it is intentional. Yeah. A little bit there. It's not quite... It's not, it's quite, not as bad in this one. Yeah. It's not quite as bad on something like this where the tones are quite similar. But I remember knitting a hat, I think it was, with a rainbow Karen cake. And it had like specks of blue in the yellow, which then went green and like blue in the red, which went purple. And I wasn't sure if that was intentional or not, but I didn't like how they weren't clean sections of colour. I think this one will be fine. There I is a couple seen. of speckling, but there's nothing majorly noticeable. Is there? I think this one might be all right. I'm probably just mine. Yeah, these look okay. Yeah. But that is, that is just something to maybe be aware of. I don't know. See, that one looks fine. Maybe it's just I had an off one. I was going to mention something. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was it. What I will suggest, which is... Lost. Lost which nothing. is a tip that I got from Fibre Floozy. These cakes are too big to get the yarn cozies. <laughs> yes. So I was told to put them in an organza tote bag to keep it together mm. or if you have a project bag big enough put it in there yeah i have a project bag that's big enough that i can fit it in um but not all of you will have project bags that are big enough to fit that in so an organza tote bag because obviously it will shrink in on itself mm. and it will collapse that is a very good point because i've i've not used a lot of it i've got a, well you can see i've got a lot of yarn still to use but if i hold it like that you can kind of see like when you're nearing the end particularly where you're working from the inside out that is going to be a pain to manage if you don't have somewhere to plonk it mm -hmm. so it's something that i probably should have thought about before i started i haven't even said what i'm going to be making have I? no you need to say it you need to say it, Dan. They want to know. They want to know. Um, I'm still stuck on what I'm going to make, but I'm looking at making a cow. It was a nice cow. Do you have a picture of it? No. Because I was looking at my laptop. And I'm on my laptop. Do you laptop. want me to? No. Such no, it doesn't matter. Mm, okay. It'll be a big surprise when I've made ah. it. Because I haven't actually settled on that cow yet. Oh, okay. Because... I tend to have a habit of starting projects and then putting it down, whereas a cow can be done in a day, maybe two at most. Mm. Um, so I'm more likely to get that done. I have a habit of doing that too. But I've chosen a blanket. Yeah. That I'm going to try. I'm going <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to try really hard. It'd be the first thing I've finished in like, what? two years but I, I i am genuinely i i have good intentions where this blanket is concerned yeah but yeah um my i have kind of told you my impression of the yarn it's soft very soft um but again it as ash said it can be splitting mm. yeah it can um it doesn't bother me so much it might be the hook that we're using. Mm. I'm not 100% sure. But I love the colours. I think they're amazing. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I love everything about it, just apart from it, it can be splitting. Mm. Um, 
for me, one of the big benefits as well is where it is 100% acrylic. It's nice. As much as I love wool blend yarns and merino and all the, all the nice, really nice plush fibres, it is nice to be able to crochet or knit something up and be able to chuck it in the wash machine or be able to tumble dry it and not really worry about it shrinking to, to ridiculous nothing. sizes, yeah, or getting damaged, or you don't have to be so precious about it. Sometimes it's nice just to have, for instance, this hopefully will become a blanket if I finish it, um, to have something that you can just, like, enjoy using. Mm -hmm. um, because how many stuff have we made that I'm like, oh, I don't want to wear that because the yarn was expensive or I'm scared of... Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, don't get me wrong, $35 is quite a chunk of money to put down on a ball of yarn, but you are getting... A lot of yarn. A chunky amount of yarn for your buck. Yeah. Um, so it, 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 I think it is really good value. And if we could get it readily over here, we would have a lot more than just four balls of it, that's for sure. Um, One, two, three, four. No, yeah. I've got five, because I've got three. Where did you hide the other one? It's downstairs. You didn't tell me that. You knew I had another one. No, I didn't. This is not up here. I didn't. No. Hmm. Curious. <laughs> what colour was that then? It's another blue. I don't know the colour name. You sure it's not just... It's one of the old ones. Oh, it's an old one. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, the colours we were mentioning are from the most recent. No. I don't think they were. Oh. I think these are old ones, too. I thought these were 2021. Are they? I don't know. I, don't I believe they've bought some more out since they've been released. We're not We're not in the States. We get a free pass to not know these things. So. Hopefully, Jill and Namo will know more. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, let's go on with the video. Um, all I we have to do now is mention the other videos. Yeah. Because we're not the only ones making videos. Yeah, as we mentioned, it's Jill from, from Fiber, Fiber Flusy, Flusy Crafts. Mm -hmm. And Lamone from Lamone Crochets. Yeah. So they're going to do... They're doing exactly the yeah. same video as us. Yeah. So they will be talking about their impressions of the yarn, what they're making, the colour they're using. So they'll be talking about exactly what we've spoken about in this video. Um, we will all have exactly the same opening video. Yeah. Um, apart from Ash, it's not in the video. I was in charge of he threw the yarn to me. <laughs> we practiced that a lot. I did not win any awards for sport. Mm, I did. Mm, yeah, you did. But you can, you, you'll, you'll know I threw it because you can tell it's, it was, it was an alright catch. <laughs> it was an alright catch, is that actually? Yeah. Well, well, yeah, exactly. So, go and watch Lamone and Jill's videos. Yeah. Um, this will be, I believe, we said we will be releasing videos every other week. I believe. I don't know. I don't know. They will confirm things. Um, and go and watch their yarn review and what they're making and everything like that. Yeah. So you're going to have a really nice review of the Karen Anniversary Cakes from... Three very lovely people and one very big annoying cake. person. And one very big cake. Yeah. I could eat it. Don't do that. Oh no, I'm not eating You'd your be one. very bunged up. <laughs> but anyway, that is our video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching and... Please go and watch the other videos. Huh. Enjoy. Finish. We'll be back with hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully finished. Yes, objects. hopefully you'll have a finished whatever it might be—a cow, mm -hmm. a hat, 
something. A It'll scarf. be something. He may even do all three because he's quick. And I might have one extra row added to my blanket. No, you'll have more than that done. Two. Yeah, two at most. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. I'll have a lap blanket. Thank you everyone for watching. And Thank we you. hope to see you again in the next video. Bye.